All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a real special treat. And I know I say that a lot, but I mean it. Valentine's Day is coming up. So this is for a special someone. Creamy marinara pasta. You can make it for your girlfriend, your boyfriend. You're really gonna impress them, if you know what I mean. You gotta show them that you love them. You're making it from scratch. The difference between this and taking them out is that you're making it. Even if you suck at cooking, I'm gonna turn you into a chef. You got me? Okay, so basically what's going on here is we got a pretty, not so complex, at least not for me, but it's got a lot of ingredients. So, what a lot of people do is they peel the carrot. You can, and you don't have to. The benefit of not peeling the carrot is all of the vitamins are on the skin. Nip the tips. Well, you're seeing right now is basically the making of a marinara sauce. I like making everything from scratch. Forget the, the bottles, the cans, whatever. They taste funny to me. They're not up to my standards. If you got a rubber spatula, you can do one of these. The waterworks always makes me want to tear. That's what I hate about the raw onion. But it tastes so good when it's cooked. Oh man. Makes you just want to forgive the onion and say, you know what? We could be friends. I got a few secrets. If you're going to cut an onion and you don't want to cry, you got to be in a well ventilated area or have a candle. I'm in a close proximity. Another secret is. You keep the onion in the fridge. It's less strong. So you could cut it in half, throw it in the fridge for a few hours or whatever, come back to it. It's not gonna make you cry like it's doing to me. Stupid base. That's right guys, we're gonna use the whole Garlic head. This is just a little keynote for future reference. If you ever have extra celery, you want it to last long, throw ice in there. It'll last probably a week or two longer than what it should be. That's right guys, you gotta keep clean. You gotta organize. My old boss used to tell me, a clean kitchen's a happy kitchen. All right, now the real fun's gonna begin. We well, start mixing everything in together. You're gonna throw some oil in there. About good two, three tablespoons. Heat that sucker up. In the meantime, we're gonna be chopping up some thyme. You gotta get a few sprigs, baby. Here's a nice way to take them apart. Lightly pull. All right, so. This is pretty much getting pretty warm. So now, we're about to start throwing in the veggies. Hear that? That's music, baby. We're gonna saute them so they're all soft. Just keep stirring them around. All right, so since it's nice and soft, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw in the tomato sauce. Sometimes one can might not be enough. You're gonna have to get another one in there. So do what you gotta do. Now, you're gonna ask me, all right, Socks, how much salt, how much pepper, how much oregano? 
I don't know. But I will tell you about two tablespoons of each. And then you might say, that's too much or that's too little. And then I'm going to tell you, well, you know what? Then season it to taste. It doesn't hurt to taste it, does it? You're going to let it boil. Once it's boiling, drop the heat, let it simmer. Let that ride out between 40 minutes to an hour. Put a lid on it. All right, some time had passed this is how it should look. Nice and thick. We're going to have some water boiling. We'll put some salt in that. That's going to be for our penne. So we're going to cut up our basil. That's right. Straight from the garden, baby. You know. Want to wash your basil. So this is how you're going to cut it. You're going to roll it up, not smoke it. You're going to roll it up, and you're going to do some thin slices on it, like so. Chiffonade, chiffonade, however it's pronounced. There you go. So we're going to get our Parmesan cheese. Most of the times, you can also get Romano cheese mixed with parm, which that's usually the mix. But I don't have any Romano, so I'm just gonna deal with parm. For the marinara, as it's cooking, you can also throw red wine. I also don't have red wine. Some people also throw in sugar. The way I see it is, why throw in sugar when you're gonna throw in some basil? The basil's sweet, right? So our water's ready. It's boiling. We're gonna throw in some penny in there. If it says set seven to eight minutes, do the seven to eight minutes. Make sure that it's al dente. Not so soft, not too hard. It's like in the middle. Okay, so I got another pan heated up. So I'm just gonna pour in a bit. Oop. Make sure it starts getting nice and hot. So it's starting to boil. It's calling our name, hence the creamy marinara. Shake it a little bit. How much marinara are you gonna wanna put? That depends on you. I can't tell you how much you should eat. How much heavy cream? Uh, I don't know. A quarter cup to eighth of a cup. I'm just gonna start mixing that in. You're just gonna let it boil some more so that the heavy cream starts thickening up a little bit. When you see it boiling some more, you're gonna add your Parmesan cheese to it. That's another thing that's gonna make it even more thicker. Get our Parmesan cheese at hand. Some people, they wanna be cheap and they wanna get the regular Parmesan cheese that's in the containers, the dry ones that is stored outside. I don't see the logic in that. It tastes nasty. It's better to get the fresh one, but that's all on you. So you're gonna stir it in there. You don't want it just sitting in there because then it's going to like start melting and sticking to the bottom and whatnot. You can lower the flames a little bit. So that's what we'll do. As you can see, when it go like that, it takes a while to come together. You don't want a watery sauce. Towards the end of the cooking, that's when you throw in the basil. When it's most fresh, you do it like this. You want to shake it up a little bit. Make sure uh, there's not much water, because once you add that in the mix, if there's still water in there, it's gonna get very watery. Here, you can't do that. I don't wanna be making a big mess. You can't do that, you just stir it. It's time for plating. By the way, we uh, you can shred up more Parmesan cheese just to put it on the top. Get all the goodies, you know what I mean? If you worked hard for it, you better not waste it. And this is the creamy marinara. Thanks again, guys, for cooking with Chef Socks. It was a real pleasure. Remember this for Valentine's Day. So a big shout out to my girlfriend, Stacy. I'm not gonna be around this year. I'm all the way on the other side of the country. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you. All right, guys. I'm out.